Hey YouTubers, this is Dan87951 here. Getting ready to change a wheel bearing on my wife's 2010 CTS. Um, there's a magnetic ring on the back of this wheel bearing that allows the uh, wheel sensor to, to get its data from. And I guess the common issue with these vehicles is the rear uh, wheel sensor ring will get corroded or it'll fall out. The wheel bearing's actually fine um, it's just that it, that wheel speed sensor is no longer picking up that signal from that magnetic ring on the back of the wheel bearing. So I'm going to go ahead and get this changed. So the first thing is, is I got to take the, the wheel off. So I'm raising the car and I'm going to take the wheel off. So the next video will be with the wheel off and we'll start with uh, removing the, the brake caliper and brake rotor. Okay, I got the wheel off. Just want to show you a couple of things here. You're going to need a huge breaker bar to break the axle nut loose. It's a 36 millimeter. And the longer the breaker bar, the better. This uh, made quick, easy work of breaking this loose. Also, you're gonna need a T30 to loosen up the screw for the uh, brake rotor. And then you have two 14 millimeter bolts that hold the caliper on right here. And once you get those out, removed you just pull the caliper up and out and I'm letting it sit here on top of this control arm for now but don't do not let it hang from the brake brake caliper hose the brake hose here because you could damage it and the next thing we're going to want to do is remove the brake caliper mounting bracket and for that you're going to need a let me see here 18 millimeter for down, up here and it's a 13 millimeter for down there so I'm gonna go ahead and get that removed okay I got the, those pieces removed next we want to remove the wheel speed sensor that's a 10 millimeter so you'll get that out and then you'll want to remove these uh, bolts around the back of the uh, the hub assembly here the hub bracket should be I think there's three or four of them but I'll confirm when I uh, on my next video so I'm gonna go ahead and get these the wheel speed sensor removed and uh, those three bolts on the back okay I got the wheel speed sir wheel speed sensor removed what you want to do is you want to do a twisting motion to break it free and then it should pull right out but these are the three bolts you can kind of I don't know if you could see it too well but there's a bolt right there holding the hub on there's one that's poking through. I don't know if you can see that right here on the very bottom. And then one more right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get those pulled out. Okay, started to get those three loose. Make sure you spray some PB, PB Blaster. I like this stuff. It works really good at getting rusty bolts loose. I'm in the uh, salt belt in Michigan. So we need to uh, definitely need to put that on mine my car in order to remove them but this is what I found easiest I couldn't really get a ratchet in there so I stuck this open in on there like that held it with my hand and then used my sledgehammer to knock knock this that way to break it loose once I got it cracked loose I was able to use my hand to loosen it the rest of the way but uh, that's the only one I've broken loose so far I'm gonna go ahead and try the other ones and uh, if I have any tips for you I'll definitely let you know. Hey guys, just want to give you a little update. I got one of the bolts out. This one over here on this side. But this one on this side um, and the rest of them are not going to be very easy. <laughs> uh, not in the best spots to get to. I found out I had to bust out my, uh, my little portable torch that I have and I heated this one up and the moment I applied heat to it I was able to get this tool in there like so but you'll want to push this back in see how that moves now now that you've broken this loose to get to get yourself that little extra room so you can put the socket on the bolt back there so once I applied the heat I was able to lift up and break that one loose so I just have one more to do which is down here on the bottom and uh, I don't really know how I'm gonna get to that one just yet First thing I'm going to do is apply some heat 
and uh, try and figure out some some way to get to get a ratchet back there. As you can see, that bolt's the hardest to get to. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's. Let's see if I can find my flashlight. But it's that one right there, and uh, it's definitely in a, in a tough spot. As you can see, a lot of the suspension components are going to be in the way. But if I uh, find some way to make it a little easier, I'll definitely let you guys know. So uh, for now, that's the, the update. Right, I got yeah. the final one undone. I definitely want to punch the engineer in the face that designed this because it was not, not very accessible at all but uh, persistence pays off no doubt you're going to need a torch to get uh, those bolts loose i think they use uh, probably red loctite but the moment i put a torch on those bolts they cracked free right away let me show you the mini torch i have you can pick these up at walmart um, sometimes grocery stores they run you about 20 bucks and uh, they definitely come in handy getting those old bolts loose but let me show you how i got to this bottom one Here's the extension and ratchet combination I went with. And basically, you get the idea. I don't have enough hands to hold it. But uh, I started out with that, the breaker bar on it. And once I broke it loose, I switched over to my ratcheting breaker bar. And uh, the bolt came right on, came loose. But uh, you want to hurry up because once it, the bolt starts to cool down, that red Loctite I think that they put on there, rust, whatever, starts to harden again, and it gets really hard to get that out. So I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, last bolt off, and I'll show you how to get the, the wheel hub assembly out of there. Here's some light, too. I forgot. It's pretty dark in here. But I don't know if you can see it, but that's the, the bolt, the, the bottom one you want to get to. Hey, YouTubers. I finally got this old wheel bearing off, and I'll tell you what. This has got to be the hardest wheel hub assembly that I have ever had to remove. Basically, this was the contraption, and it. I spent a couple hours on it last night, and I spent a couple hours on it this morning trying heating it up, various things, pry bars, sledgehammers, but this ultimately ended up working out. I went to Advanced Auto, and they had a what's called a slide hammer that you can rent for them for free, and. But the basic weight, it just wasn't enough, so I've got a gym downstairs. I went down and grabbed another 25-pounder, and about six or seven really hard tugs, and the thing finally, finally broke loose. But uh, I think what else contributed to helping it break loose was this map gas torch that I had. You want to make sure you get this all heated up as hot as you can super super hot already have this bolted in place on there put your weight closer to the hub so you don't stress the uh the bar right here and then get this super super hot probably a good five minutes just going around going around and then once you get it and you spent five minutes on it just start whacking it with this slide hammer and it should start to come off but uh boy it was it was rough i mean I've never had this much problem before with the wheel hub assembly and uh, I'm just finally glad that I finally got it off. So I'm going to go ahead and install my new Tempkin unit. I only buy Tempkin wheel hubs because this is not a job that you want to do again. So if you're cheaping out on a hub assembly, I wouldn't recommend it because you'll probably back, be back at it replacing another, another hub assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and get this bolted up and if I... Um, have any tips for you i'll have it on the next video but for now i'm gonna go ahead and get started on cleaning all this up taking some light sandpaper cleaning all that up and i'm going to be putting some anti-seize all around in here on here on these threads so that way if i do have to replace it maybe next time it won't be, be as difficult so until the next video i'll talk to you later now that the wheel bearings cooled off i just wanted to show you why i was getting the uh the check engine lights that I were, I was getting the traction control light and the ABS light was coming on. And the reason why is there's this magnetic ring 
around here that this wheel spin wheel speed sensor uh, reads information off of and as you can see there's a chunk of it missing right there so I kept getting the uh, the check engine light because it wouldn't it couldn't read the data because there's a big chunk of the, the magnetic green missing there so if you're getting it's a pretty common issue with the Cadillac CTS's I'm not the, the first guy to have this um, so if you're getting an ABS or traction control light or service uh, stability system I believe is what it said on the dash more than likely you've got this magnetic uh, ring has completely fallen out or you've gotten a chunk that that's missing um, I was hoping at first it would just be the speed sensor I spent the twenty dollars started with the cheapest thing first still got the air so that's when I knew for a fact it was definitely definitely the wheel bearing since that magnetic bearing or that magnetic uh, uh, piece right here is built into the hub assembly so just wanted to let you know that once I got this off it was pretty obvious that this is definitely the problem. Alright guys just finishing up the uh, wheel bearing install or wheel hub assembly. Um, just got everything tightened up with the wheel speed sensor on. Uh, adjusted the parking brake because I took that off. Uh, the parking brake shoes. Decided to put the winter tires back on because it's September. So these are our winter ones that we have and this is our my wife's summer summer wheels. But um, yeah you know this is no doubt been probably the hardest wheel bearing wheel hub assembly i've ever done on a vehicle uh and what it took to take off pretty much was the was heat lots of heat and lots of heat and then that slide hammer combined with that 25 pound weight that blue blue weight over there but uh, the best advice i can give be patient take your time don't rush things and uh, if you get frustrated just walk away and then come back to it like I started this yesterday and probably around what was it probably around 5 30 I started it and I'm just now finishing up it's about 2 2 p.m. on a Saturday so you know and I've been taking breaks throughout the day but if you have any questions go ahead and leave leave a, a comment and uh, I'll try and help you out as best as I can good luck there's one thing I forgot to tell you guys about is after you replace the wheel bearing if you're getting the same um, error messages that I were as far as uh, traction control off ABS off you'll need a tool like this to reset the uh, the check engine lights that you were getting I bought this at Walmart it's uh, I think it was like a hundred bucks or something like that but you want to make sure you have one that says that has ABS functions on it otherwise you will not be able to uh, to re to uh, clear those or erase those codes that are stored in memory. I've already erased the codes and I've already test driven the car. Everything's good to go. We don't have any more errors. It's the ABS is back on. Uh, the only thing I have to do now is uh, adjust the tire pressure because I switched from the our summer tires that are over there to the factory tires. So I've got to reset all the tire pressure sensors. So once I'm done, this was a uh, I'll be completely done with the the hub hub assembly install and switching out the tires but boy was it a it was a big job man real big job so good luck with your uh your uh wheel hub assembly if you plan on doing it yourself just take your time and uh you'll probably do okay take it easy